Um, vegans have struck a deal with an abattoir to give cows their <laughs> last rites before arriving at the slaughterhouse. I think, I think striking a deal with an abattoir is, is probably is a good is a good place to start any kind of change. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the abattoirs on his side. <laughs> don't don't argue with this guy. <laughs> Last rites in yeah. what language? Uh, in, it's it's in it's in, in mono in stereo. It's in Leicester, so English. I it's guess. in Leicester. <laughs> Just some guy. Yeah, you know, hallowed be. Oh, what are, what are the last rites? Do you know? Well, the know. the thing is, I I don't know what the actual ones are. But these are the cow ones. These are the cow ones. <laughs> <laughs> The vegan activists have struck a deal with an abattoir oh to allow God. them to stage last rite ceremonies with incoming cows. Incoming! <laughs> <laughs> uh, to tell them, we love you, we are sorry. I guess that's their last rites. Um, Leicestershire Animal Save, crap name yeah. for a group, um, are hosting roadside monthly vigils. <laughs> roadside! Just as they drive past. <laughs> sorry! Excuse oh. me, cow, while you're driving to the abattoir. <laughs> we're just, we're sorry. Look, I've got a truck full of my mates here. Yeah? I'm running late. <laughs> yeah, please leave us alone. Yeah. Uh, roadside monthly vigils once a month in Melton Mowbray. That's where they make the pork pies. Um, in which they whisper phrases to cattle before, whisper. The, whisper, before they arrive at an abattoir run by the Foil Food Group. Um, <laughs> activists who have held 35 ceremonies since founding the group in 2015 also hold signs which say your taste equals their death okay right. um, group founder Dina Ahern said the group had an understanding with the slaughterhouse bosses uh, who let them stop the trucks and trailers which transport the cows the 38 year old <laughs> former solicitor um from Leicester said we want to make the cows feel at ease every time because they're living and sacred beings <laughs> former okay. solicitor because former solicitor used to be a solicitor but then everyone she was defending she just lean in whisper to them yeah. I'm, I'm sorry Couldn't I'm really, really sorry <laughs> <laughs> and then like, you should deal in an abattoir do I look like a cow to you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, cows have a living soul and conscience we really want to help comfort them we have to arrange and give them two weeks' notice. The abattoir, not the cows. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> For when we get a cow to sign a two weeks' notice. <laughs> All right. For when we're going to be on site. When we arrive, usually about 8 a.m., we gather outside the slaughterhouse on days when the abattoir is operational for about three hours. Uh, and when we stop each of the trucks, uh, we then stop each of the trucks and are given two minutes to say our last goodbyes um, before they go and uh, get a bolt gun put through their heads. Yeah. Uh, we whisper phrases to them like "We're sorry, we see you, and I love you." We we see you. We see you. I These see are the you. same phrases that were written on bananas and given to hookers. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, that was yeah. a horse of the apocalypse. Now yeah. it's a cow. Now it's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Miss uh, Miss Ahern said she believed the peaceful protests are the best way to spread the message about veganism and animal welfare. She said, any social movements have different kinds of action, and a lot of vegan groups resort to violence, but we condone this, but we do not condone this, and the best way is to peacefully spread the message. I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like, it's, hey, if this, the reason that you're protesting, or, or act, being active, or trying to get into activism, is because you have an issue with something if this is what eases that issue and makes it more bearable for you and you feel like you're helping then hey this is a good way to do it like yeah it might cause a slight sp slow of production but if mm. that doesn't affect anything hey if this yeah. is what helps i mean there's okay. gonna be a queue anyway i mean it's confusing but it's okay if that's what you want to do and if that's what helps yeah it's better than blocking yeah. a road or you know throwing paint over somebody Plus it's like that it's like that thing where if you approach if you approach someone with a differing opinion with hostility you're not going to change their mind yeah like if you if, if someone says something that you know is incorrect or something and you'd be like yeah good going stupid like they yeah. they they they'll get defensive yeah if it helps you uh, but it, it's confusing because I, from my perspective, at least, you kind of go like, I don't understand what you're hoping to achieve. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's the same. I said before that I used to clean hedgehogs. Right. <laughs> if I was doing that because I didn't, I wanted. That seems to... like such a happy job. 
It's not. And it's you. I, I really didn't enjoy it at all. No. No. And I didn't. The people, the other people who were doing it, didn't enjoy it either. The woman who ran the place seemed to enjoy it. But yeah. We were in our house. Right. So I think she might have just been, like <laughs> watched a really good episode of EastEnders or something. But so I, I did that for a little while, a couple of weeks. Yeah. If I was doing that because I wanted to stop world hunger, I'd be confused. And so I told people that I'd be confused. And that's how I feel seeing these people who want who want to prevent animal cruelty i'm assuming and are doing it by whispering to them that they can see them I, yeah. it's confusing to me because i go i don't see how that correlates but if by cleaning hedgehogs i feel like i've exercised that demon or that burden of world hunger's killing everybody but at least i'm channeling that energy into somewhere else fine mm. it's great yeah it's being productive at least yeah in some yeah. way it's not being as destructive as others yeah and you go hey if, if this is what if this helps you channel that concern or anxiety or your fear then hey great good yeah you could probably take it to another level and do something more productive which I... is the which is the gut reaction isn't it it's like if you don't believe in animal cruelty why not produce more vegan foods that people enjoy mm. you go well that would cure more that would create less animal cruelty if people were marketedly deciding not to choose meat and therefore choosing something else yeah i mean i like vegetable crisps yeah as in like parsnip crisps yeah and if i see if i have a choice between a parsnip crisp and a barbecue beef crisp i'll choose parsnip crisp saving that cow <laughs> you're you're not a, really you're a saint <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, I'm a oh, such a good person. But yeah, like you could uh, you could do more with it, but not everybody is capable or destined to do great things, life world changing things. So hey, if like you, you. I'll, I'll with choose your parsnips. parsnips. Yeah, but no, if you're just you know, at least they're doing just channeling it into a good place rather than trying to create an argument or a problem with people. They're saying like Look, we're we're choosing to do something different. Okay, great. That's the way to live your life about everything. Yeah, yeah. If you hate, um. Uh, who's the judge if you hate justin bieber just be like look i just don't like him i'm not going to talk to him no one has a problem with that mm. if you're going to follow him around and yell at him then people are going to have an issue with it so yeah at least you're channeling that energy into a positive and least destructive place it's fair enough yeah yeah Pars- parsnip crisps i don't think the sign is like is really good i, I like this, this like the sign thing. on the side of the road yeah the one that says like your t- your taste equals their death because right, that's right. completely counterintuitive to the whole point. Because most people are going to drive past them seeing them whispering at cows or whatever. Okay, then. Don't kill it. Let it bleed and stay, you know, live without <laughs> half of its body. But... No. But, seems cruel. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, what? It, it's not necessarily what it's saying. It's the fact that it's aggressive. Yeah. Like, essentially. It's and judgmental. The, the idea will be, like, in order to get people's attention. Like, whatever, fine. Understand the idea... But you've just said that you, that you don't believe in in like the violent tactics, and you think mm. a more peaceful approach is the way to change people's minds. So why are you holding up signs accusing people of atrocities? Yeah, like it it doesn't that part of it didn't make sense to me. Yeah, it's like yeah, it feels like they're trying to say that they're not being confrontational while yeah. holding a confrontation while being sign. confrontational. <laughs> Maybe if I if I get out of the car and come up to you in person and speak to you, you wouldn't be confrontational. But I don't know that driving past you, I'm just going to be like, look at these fucking dicks whispering at cows and calling me a prick. Dabba da 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 da